What's up guys, TechFlash here and we are less than a month away from the Samsung's unpacked event on February 11 where it will be unveiled that what Galaxy S20 has in the box for us. More than a few reports now have backed up the theory that Galaxy S11 might actually be called as Galaxy S20 during the launch. Now there are going to be three models and these three models are going to follow the footstep of iPhone which we saw last year where iPhone 11 was the least uh, expensive cell phone and then it was followed by iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max so this time around Samsung is going to do something similar where they are going to be introducing a Galaxy S20, a Galaxy S20 Plus and then a Galaxy S20 Ultra for those who want everything in their cell phone device. Now it is likely that every single device is going to get a 5G variant so in total you are going to get 6 devices. So 3 devices in the 4G variant and 3 in the 5G variants. Now it is interesting to note that we have seen multiple leaks regarding all these devices and recently a new leaked Galaxy S20 Plus 5G image has surfaced which shows a device which looks quite similar to what you would find on a Galaxy S20 Plus however the screen shows Galaxy S20 Plus 5G which begs the question that whether every single device is going to be 5G for the S20 Plus variant or you are going to get 4G variants in some markets. From what we know about Galaxy S20 so far the Galaxy S20 Plus will likely feature a 6.7 inches display. It will most certainly be an infinity O panel which we saw with other devices like Note 10 Plus or even in the mid-range segment on Samsung Galaxy A51. Now the Galaxy S20 Ultra may have a 6.9 inches display. We have already confirmed that this time around the panel will be a super smooth 120Hz refresh rate panel. So that means that the S20 Ultra will provide you an overall smoother experience and give you a deception that it is faster than the original Galaxy S20. Now as far as the camera setup is concerned we are expecting Penta camera setup all across the board however we are also expecting the Galaxy S20 Ultra will be the only device with the Samsung's 108 megapixel sensor and the other ones including Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus will have a 12 megapixel 1.8 microns primary sensor so the biggest sensor uh, technology the latest sensor technology is only going to be unveiled on the latest Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Another interesting thing to note here is the fact that many reports suggest that this time around Samsung is going to introduce a display which is less curved than the predecessors and might as well just be a 2.5D curved glass instead of a curved display. The curve on both sides of the display is going to be quite minimal. In fact, when compared to the predecessors, it is going to be almost non-existent and it might just be a 2.5D curved glass. Now that's something that will not affect huge amount of customers, although this is something that has been a trademark for Samsung devices for quite some time now. Now I'm really excited about the Samsung Galaxy S20 series because this time around Samsung is making quite some moves in the market and this series will define their future in the upper segment range. So I want to know what are your thoughts regarding Galaxy S20. Do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.